I've been told that my head puts off a lot of glare for the camera, so I put my hat on today. Once you get the motor assembled <clears throat> and you're getting ready to set up your valve train, one of the things that you got to make sure you do is check rocker arm geometry. The geometry of the rocker arm is whether or not the rocker is sitting in the correct position, whether or not it has the right arc. One of the problems that we have is if the rocker arm geometry is off, or if the rocker is not sitting in the correct spot, uh, it's going to push the valve sideways and it's going to wear the, the valve guide out very quickly. Big ratio rockers and big lift cams have a tendency to push the valve sideways anyway. So we got to make sure this is you know, right on the money if we're going to go with a big cam, which we are in this motor. So we've got our engine set up here. And you can see we got a lifter and we have a standard length push rod in here. Now we may have to change the length of that push rod depending on how the rocker arm geometry comes out. We're going to put a 1.6 roller type high performance rocker. You can see it says 1.6 there. So anytime you change rockers, especially to a roller, and then we're going to use a posi lock to lock them down, you have to make sure you check the, the rocker arm geometry. There's a couple ways to do it. This tool here is made by Proform and it's got kind of a weird name. It's almost like they had like a two-year-old naming their parts for them. You know, it's like, hey, what do you think we should name this part, young man? I think we should name a push rod link checker. I don't know. They call it a push rod length checker. That does, to me, that's just weird. If, it seems like it should have more of an official name, but it is a great tool. If it was me, I would name it, you know, this is a um, rocker arm geometry ver verification tool designed for making sure that the rocker arm geometry is correct on high performance engines. So, yeah, you know, something of that nature. But it's a really cool tool because it's quick and easy. Once you get your rocker stud in, your, the push rod that you think you might want to use, and your head set up, you just take this rocker <laughs> push rod link checker, you stick it on there, just like so, okay? Now, if this portion of the tool is sitting flat on the valve and my push rod is sitting flat against this surface here which hey look at that it is what that tells me is that my my rock arm geometry is good on this head that is the correct length push rod for example if you had if you put this on there and you had a situation where you had a big gap like this while this was sitting on the valve over here that would mean that you would obviously need a longer push rod. If you put it on here and it was sitting flush on the push rod here and you weren't contacting your valve, that would mean that your rocker arm geometry is off the other way and your push rods are actually too long. You just never know what's going to happen when you put a different set of rockers on. It's hard to say. You go with high performance rockers, this is not something that is optional. Uh, you have to check this. It's really critical with roller type rockers. Uh, stock rockers, you know, it's a good idea to check it, but it's not going to be as critical because most generally stock rockers are going to have a smaller lift cam and it's going to have less of an effect. But nevertheless, the, the rocker arm ge ge geometry, <laughs> you think I could talk, I'm an instructor. The rocker arm geometry should be correct for any engine stock or not, but even more critical on high performance stuff. So uh, very important. Competition Cams does have a push rod that's adjustable. It's got a jam nut and a lock nut, and you can adjust the push rod in and out. Put your rocker on there, and, 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 or you can use it with your uh, push rod checker tool. And if your push rod is too long or too short, you can adjust that push rod up and down until you get the right geometry, lock it into place, and then you just go ahead and measure that push rod. <coughs> Excuse me, and that tells you uh, what length of push rod you need to go by. So it's pretty simple, not a real complicated process. This is a fantastic tool, makes it a lot easier, uh, but it's not something you can skip. Building a high performance engine uh, is basically an exercise in a lot of very careful <laughs> measurements. There's a lot of little things that you got to do to make sure that this thing is, this baby is right. And if you make sure you do all that, you'll have a really good high performance engine and everything will be cool. So 
for some reason I've had a run on Camaro engines lately. Uh, I've had probably five or six customers that uh, in a row here that want a pretty nasty street motor built for their Camaro and so that's what we've been doing but again anytime you use these type of rockers or you do any any motor for that matter please check the rocker arm ratio don't take it for granted that this is right all right I promise you'll do that thank you